Sanwanan, dear staff and students, today I am here at the Banting Road campus where I am visiting the School of uh, Tourism and Hospitality, one of the most fantastic infrastructures that we have here at the University of Johannesburg. Since yesterday, our Sanlam Auditorium at the Kingsway campus in Auckland Park has been buzzing with excitement with students who have fulfilled the requirements of their qualifications, painting the grounds with the colors of their academic grounds. This was as we marked the start of the autumn graduation ceremonies. Our Kingsway campus will, in the next coming weeks, be a hive of festivities as students, their families and friends celebrate their outstanding and landmark achievements. The College of Business and Economics graduates were the first group to receive their qualifications yesterday and today, 14 to 15 March 2019. Their qualifications range from advanced diplomas, undergraduate and postgraduate bachelors of arts and commerce, as well as masters and doctoral degrees. Receiving a qualification is not only an achievement for your families, but it is for the community you belong to. My warm congratulations to our graduates. Well done. Graduations are just one of the many ways to demonstrate that at the University of Johannesburg, academic excellence is recognized, nurtured, and celebrated. UJ has in the past years established a distinguished student club for best performers called UGenius. Through the club, we acknowledge outstanding performance by our undergraduate and postgraduate students and offer them additional opportunities for intellectual and professional development. This club has a total of 1,084 top achieving students and this year, over 750 of the students attended the celebration event in the Sandlam Auditorium. This should also serve as an inspiration to those of our students who may be lagging behind academically to embrace the spirit of resilience and do well even in the face of whatever challenges they are confronted with. Our colleagues and students in the Graduate School of Architecture are driving important initiatives in the pursuit of expanding the school's Pan-African links this year. Recently, staff and students from Unit 15X were featured in the Tanzanian press after a high-level meeting with Dar es Salaam city officials and the director of the World Bank. Unit 15X staff members Dr. Finzi Saidi, Absalom Makubu, and Dixon Abu Ajay are also leading design conversations around upgrading of public spaces in the city. Additionally, the head of the school, Professor Leslie Loko, will be traveling to Kigali this week to deliver a keynote address to the Rwandese government on the role of culture in the developmental agendas. You need 12 staff members, Sumaya Vali and Banderani Liposa, will also be taking their students to Casablanca in Morocco, where they will be conducting research that will be prominent to the design of a new port authority. To Professor Federico Freschi's teams in the Faculty of Art Design and Architecture, thank you for putting UJ at the forefront of Africa's development. Still on issues of Pan-Africanism, our university's Africa Evidence Network has opened nominations for the second annual Africa Evidence Leadership Award to honor African champions in evidence-informed decision-making. This award, which was launched in 2018, 
aims to celebrate people whose careers are exceptional examples of impactful, insightful, and innovative evidence-informed decision-making on the continent. Velia Manyonga from the Parliament of Malawi won the inaugural award in 2018 with runner-ups from Cameroon and Kenya. This year's winners will present a keynote address on their work at Evidence 2020, the biennial conference of the AEN that will be taking place in Kampala in Uganda. The winner will attend another international event or course to further raise their profile and the profile of Africa in this field. As per staff engagements on our service delivery mission to the university community, particularly with regards to improving our infrastructure, our Chief Operations Officer, Professor Anders Schwarz, will conduct extended campus meetings with staff on campus, faculty, and divisions matters. Together with the Executive Director Operations, Chief Information Officer, and Senior Directors for Protection Services and Campuses, the team will attend pressing long and short-term matters that will require specific attention. On Wednesday, 13 March 2019, I engaged with colleagues, members of our alumni, the postgraduate students, during the second session of my reading group on my recommended book, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century by Yuval Harari. The copies of these books are made available in all our campus libraries. Please, go and read this book. Our university continues to lead thought leadership conversations related to the fourth industrial revolution and other pertinent topics on contemporary matters. Some of the thought-provoking public lectures that took place in our university this week included the captivating public lecture and book discussion, What is your moonshot? with futurist and author John Sanei at the Johannesburg Business School. Sanei's talk on the fourth industrial revolution and human beings offers fascinating insights into how humans evolve with societal rules and technology in various times. I also presented a lecture entitled On the Ontology of Rationality and Artificial Intelligence Perspective at the Johannesburg Institute for advanced study, where I dissected rationality in sound decision making. Still on Industry 4.0 matters, a distinguishing element for UJ is the Senate established consultative process. Initiated in 2018, the process has yielded a catalytic initiative for Industry 4.0, which was adopted by UJ Council in November last year. Following this, a business and implementation plan was developed and this submission is up for consideration and approval by UJ Council on Tuesday, 19 March 2019. If supported, this plan will provide significant impetus for Industry 4.0 and for our strategy of global excellence and stature. The business plan was a significant undertaking and our appreciation goes to Dr. Linda Ntwisha, Senior Director, Strategic Initiatives and Administration for her coordination. Thanks also to Professor Anesh Telukdari, Postgraduate School of Engineering Management, Faculty of Engineering and the Build Environment for sterling contribution. Lastly, the next week will be a short working week for our staff members due to the long weekend and the end of the first term of our academic program as students and academics go for recess. I wish those of you who will be taking a break some good rest. Please return energized to tackle the remainder of the first semester with some vigor. I also thank the colleagues who will remain at the University of Johannesburg to keep the academic momentum going. Thank you very much. Nia Wonga, Bayadanki.